Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to find the value of an angle when you're given the trigonometric function of the angle. For example, if you're given sine theta equals to x, then they want you to find the value of theta. Let's get right to it. Before we get into this lesson, I would highly recommend that you watch the lesson on unit circle first. I've got the link in the description below, you can check that out first. And I'll also leave a card at the end of the video just to remind you. So let's get into this question. Given the value of theta is 0 to 360 degrees, calculate the value of theta for the following trigonometric function. Round off your answers to one decimal place. So let's look at number one. Sine theta is equals to 0 0.7214. Now we need to find the value of theta. The first thing you need to do is to find alpha. So how to find alpha? You need to use your calculator. In your calculator, you need to find the inverse function for whatever you're looking for. So we have sine theta here. We are going to do inverse sine. Now how to do that? You can refer to the calculator on the screen. Press shift and then press sine. Then you will get this. Alpha is equals to, you will get sine minus 1. It would look like this. This is not minus 1. This is inverse sine. So inverse sine of key in the value 0 0.7214. And you will get a value of 46.2 degrees. Always remember, this should be less than 90 degrees, 0 to 90 degrees, because it is alpha. Once you get alpha, now you can find theta. In order to find theta, we need to check which quadrant it is in first. So this depends on the sign of the trigonometric function. For example, this is a positive value, positive 0 0.7214. So this will determine which quadrant it is in. I go into detail about this in the unit circle video, so if you haven't checked that out, please do check that out. But we have four quadrants, one, two, three, and four. And these are the relationships between theta and alpha in each quadrant. It is different for each quadrant. But when you look at this, you have to remember, add sugar to coffee. Add sugar to coffee. What does this mean? In quadrant one, A, A stands for all. All the trigonometric functions are positive. Sine theta, cos theta, and tangent theta are all positive values. For the second quadrant, we have S, sugar. Only sine theta is positive. So cosine theta and tangent theta will be negative. In the third quadrant, only tangent theta is positive. Sine theta and cosine theta will be negative. In the fourth quadrant, only cosine theta will be positive. So we have sine theta and tangent theta as negative values. Since sine theta is positive from our question, then we know that it has to be situated in either quadrant 1 or 2. Because in quadrant 1, all the trigonometric functions are positive. Sine theta is definitely positive. In quadrant 2, sine theta is positive. So now we can find theta based on the relationship with alpha. There are two possible answers. If it was in quadrant 1, then theta will equal to alpha, which is equal to 46.2 degrees. Or it could be in quadrant 2 as well. If it were in quadrant 2, theta would be equal to 180 degrees minus alpha, which is 180 degrees minus 46.2 degrees, and you would get a value of 133.8 degrees. So these are the two possible values of theta. You can try to key in your calculator check. You can key in sine 46.2 and sine 133.8 you should get the correct answer to three significant figures because we are only using three significant figures for alpha. Now let's try the second question. We apply the same concept here. First, let's find alpha. Alpha would be equals to inverse cos. So this time you press shift cos instead of shift sine. Then you will see this on your calculator. This is arc cos or the inverse of the cosine function. So the value here will be 0 0.7692. We have to remember when you're finding alpha, there is no negative ratio for alpha. Alpha will always be positive. Therefore, you can ignore the negative sign when keying into the calculator. If you do key in the negative sign to the calculator, you will no longer be finding alpha. You will find one of the values of theta. But the downside is you cannot find the other value of theta. You will only have one answer, which is not complete. So key in the positive value 0 0.7692 and you will get alpha is 39 0.7 degrees. This is alpha. Now we have to check which quadrant. So when we look at the sine, the sine is negative. This cosine function is negative. If the cosine function is negative, this would mean 
it either lies in quadrant 2, where only sine is positive, or quadrant 3, where only tangent of theta is positive. So it is either 2 or 3. Now we can find the values of theta. So for quadrant 2, theta would be equals to 180 degrees minus alpha. So this would be 180 degrees minus 39.7 degrees. And we would get a value of 140.3 degrees. This was in quadrant 2. But if it were in quadrant 3, you could also get or theta is equals to 180 degrees plus alpha, which is equals to 180 degrees plus 39.7 degrees, and we would get a value of 219.7 degrees. These are the two possible values of theta. Again, you can key into your calculator to check. Key in cos 140.3, you should get negative 0 0.7692. Two, at least three significant figures should be correct. And then when you key in cos of 219.7, you should also get the same answer. So let's try number 3. Tangent of theta equals to 0 0.5479. Once again, we find alpha. Alpha will be inverse tangent of 0 0.5479. This will be equals to 28.7. Again, just use your calculator for this. Press shift tangent. So now we need to see which quadrants. This tangent theta value is positive. For a positive value of tangent theta, it has to be either in quadrant 1, where all are positive, or in quadrant 3, where tangent theta is positive. So either 1 or 3. This would mean that either theta is equal to alpha, which is equal to 28.7 degrees, or in the third quadrant, theta would be equal to 180 degrees plus alpha, which is 180 degrees plus 28.7 degrees, and we would get an answer of 208.7 degrees. So again, you can check with your calculator and check the answer. Let's look at a negative value for tangent theta. So here we have number 5, we have tangent theta is equal to negative 1.2035. So first we find alpha. Alpha will be equal to inverse tangent of 1.2035. Again, we do not key in the negative sign because we are looking for alpha here. And this would give us 50.3 degrees. Now we have to look for the quadrant. This is a negative value of tangent. Since tangent theta is negative, it could only be either in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4 because in 1 and 3, tangent theta is positive. Therefore, in quadrant 2, theta would be equal to 180 degrees minus alpha, which is equal to 180 degrees minus 50.3 degrees. And here we would get a value of 129.7 degrees. Or in quadrant 4, we would get theta is equal to 360 degrees minus alpha, which is 360 degrees minus 50.3. And the answer you would get is 309.7 degrees. Let's try a negative value for sine theta. For number 6, sine theta is negative 0 0.5178. Again, we find alpha first. So alpha will be equal to inverse sine of 0 0.5178. And this would give us a value of 31.2 degrees. Once again, do not key in the negative when you are looking for alpha. Once you found alpha, now we need to check the quadrant. So sine theta is negative here. Sine theta would only be negative in quadrants 3 and 4. In quadrants 1 and 2, sine theta would be positive. So now that we know the quadrant, we can find theta. Theta is either equals to 180 degrees plus alpha in the third quadrant, which is 180 degrees plus 31.2 degrees. This would give us a value of 211.2 degrees. Or, in the fourth quadrant, theta would be equal to 360 degrees minus alpha. So this would be 360 minus 31.2 degrees. And the value you would get is 328.8 degrees. So these are the two possible values of theta when sine of theta is negative 0 0.5178.
do check out the video on unit circle guys i'll leave the link in the description below as well as i'll leave it in the card here and if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please do me a favor and hit that like button it really does help with the algorithm thank you very much for doing that and if you enjoy videos like this do subscribe i'll be producing at least one video a week i'll see you in the next video